core buildup or post buildup describes an artificially created tooth core. If a tooth has been destroyed by a deep cavity so that there is nothing left of the tooth's original crown, then it won't be possible to fit that tooth with an artificial crown because the crown won't have any hold. However, in cases where the roots are still healthy, then a good root canal treatment and the buildup of the tooth core can create retention for a crown. In dentistry, a dental crown supported by an artificial buildup is called a post crown. In this video, you see a patient's plaster impression. There is nothing left of the tooth, but a small part, shown in blue here, protrudes from the gums. A dental bridge wouldn't have any hold on this core. By building up the core, shown in black here, the bridge can be fastened. In this case, the post tooth does not support a single crown, but an entire bridge. The most important thing when building up the post tooth is a good root canal treatment and a sufficiently deep excavation for the post in the root canal. The post should reach at least one-third into the root, as this reduces the leverage force acting on the dental root and consequently the risk of a root fracture. When posts are too short, root fractures may result due to chewing forces. You can find out more about this in the video entitled Post Tooth Fracture. In the video, you will now see what's entailed in a core buildup. First, the tooth core is shown while the old amalgam filling is being removed. The tooth is surrounded by a cofferdam, that's the blue membrane. The dark areas below the amalgam filling are either amalgam discoloration or cavities. The caries are completely removed. Now the tooth core is built up. In order to do this, retention must be created. This is why a glass fiber post is fastened in the rear dental root. You see how the dental root is excavated first. The drill that is used for excavation corresponds to the diameter of the glass fiber post. Now the drill hole is cleaned and seared and then treated with various other chemicals. Finally, the bonding agent is inserted together with the glass fiber post. Everything hardens for a few minutes and then the protruding remains are removed and the rest of the core is built up. The plaster impression shows the core buildup here in black. The dental bridge now has stability again. It's very important that the dentist ensure that the margins the crown produced, or in this case the bridge, don't end in the tooth core buildup, but that the bridge margins end in healthy tooth substance. In other words, the bridge, or in this case crown, must cover the entire core buildup. On the left side, you see how the dental crown in black covers the core buildup in red. On the right, you see that the crown margins don't end at the tooth, pictured in blue, but in the post. This is wrong. Posts can be separated into two groups, pre-manufactured posts and those custom made by the dental technician. For example, on the left, you see a pre-manufactured glass fiber post. The core buildup is on the top. In the middle, you see the excavated tooth core. And on the bottom, you see the pre-manufactured glass fiber post. On the right, you see a custom-made metal post. Again, the tooth core is on the top. The excavated tooth core is in the middle. And the custom-made metal post is on the bottom. Nowadays, pre-manufactured posts are used more and more often, as can be seen in these images. These are increasingly made of glass fibers. There are no alternatives to the core buildup, except for pulling the root of the tooth and producing a different artificial tooth, such as, for example, a prosthesis or an implant. You can find out more in the video entitled Implant. The potential risks involved with core buildup are negligible when performed by an experienced dentist. Nevertheless, complications may occur in individual cases, possibly requiring additional measures. Every additional measure may in turn lead to further complications that may eventually result in tooth loss. At this point, we will only discuss the specific complications encountered with core buildup. These are, for example, post-tooth fracture. You can find out more in the video by the same title. Root perforation during excavation. You can find out more in the video with the same name. Luckily for patients, such complications have become very rare due to positive developments in medicine in the last few decades.